guys what's up it's natalie welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i am so excited i am going to be showing you guys what's in my hospital bag and kind of what i am taking to the hospital i've watched so many of these videos on youtube and on tiktok and i've taken notes basically on what's like necessary to bring I don't want to overpack I've made a mental list of what I think I need and yeah that's what I'm going to show you guys today if this is the first time you guys are seeing my face my name is Natalie I am 36 weeks pregnant I'm having a baby girl and my due date is March 22nd so excited but I'm also like over being pregnant I love I love being pregnant but like I just want to meet her at this point anyways without rambling let's get into the video so this is my hospital bag um, my mom got it for me I think I saw it on Amazon and I absolutely loved it but the first thing I want to show you guys is actually the binder that I'm bringing it's going to have all of her medical stuff mine and Sam's birth plan I'm also going to do a video probably on what's in our birth plan and kind of what we put um just if you guys like want to see it um, and then I'm also going to have all of her medical stuff in here so nothing gets lost. So yeah, it's just a plain binder. Super, super convenient, I think. That's one of the things we're bringing. Another thing is a boppy. I'm bringing this because if Sam's nephews or nieces, they're smaller, want to hold her in the hospital, I'm totally comfortable with that as long as they have this. And especially like when I'm in bed, I kind of, I don't know, this is nice. <laughs> I feel like I'll actually use this in the hospital, so I'm bringing this. She's coming home with this blanket. It's super soft, super cozy. I'm like so excited for her to use this. Um, a family friend made this for her. So yeah, I think it's so cute with like the little ribbon. So this is going to be like her going home blanket. I'll probably keep this in the car seat though. We're also going to be bringing in the car seat obviously, but I'm not going to show you guys her car seat. Um, just because it's already in my car just in case I do go into labor somewhere that I'm like not home. This has all been in my car just like in the shade basically just in case I do go into labor early. But anyways, moving on. Moving on to my hospital bag. Also, if you do like this one but you're having like maybe a boy or something um, or you're just not into like the whole pink, they have so many colors. They have black, tan, white blue green i just chose pink because i'm having a girl and i don't know i love pink obviously this is her nursery <laughs> so in the back pocket right here i put an extension cord because um a lot of people said you're going to need an extension cord especially if you're going to be on your phone during labor so i'm going to bring that i'm probably also going to bring my laptop just so i can edit some stuff and watch movies on so then we have mommy's treasures in here i'm not really bringing any like diapers or like any like postpartum stuff for myself other than the freedom mom i just hit myself in the eye the freedom mom little puree the bottle basically um that you're going to have to use after you give birth i know the hospital will have one but everyone said buy this because it has like the angle part hairbrush um deodorant toothbrush toothpaste hair ties benadryl i don't know why i have benadryl in here i probably won't even use this but I have Benadryl in there. Um, and I'm going to also pack a little bit of makeup. I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Probably just like blush and contour. Then I'm also bringing a heating pad. I'm the type of person that's always cold. So, and I can't sleep if I'm like super cold. Like I love sleeping in the cold, but I also love my heating pad. So I'm bringing my heating pad because this is like my ride or die. I need it. Then I'm bringing some socks, some fuzzy socks. I know the hospital gives you like the grippy socks. Um, I don't like those at all. They freak me out. Brings back horrible memories for me. So I'm bringing my own comfy socks. I'm also bringing my slippers as well. 
Um, these are just easy just to slide on and they're super comfortable. I got these from Amazon and they're very dirty. So I got these bras at Target. This one's super wrinkled because I washed it and then just threw it in my bag. But they look like this. They have absolutely no padding. This is just super wrinkly right now. I'm bringing, I think, three of these um, just because I think this will just be the easiest just to slip on um, and have on with her. I'm not a fan of like the whole hospital gown. So I have this in blue, pink, and black, I believe. So those are good to slip on. Then I also have this robe. I got also at Target. It's also very wrinkly, but this is going to be nice. If I have visitors at the hospital, I can just throw my robe on with one of these underneath and be comfortable i'm not entirely sure how long we will be at the hospital i thought i was only going to be there for like a night and then they were going to be like okay go home like you're checked out um but my cousin just had a baby and she said that they were there for two nights and it's like procedure that they had to be there for two nights i'm bringing two things of pajamas they're both from victoria's secret i have this one it's super super big it's buttoned down it's like that and then with like the little shorts that come with it like that and they're super comfortable too if i decide not to wear like one of the bras to bed because i normally do wear bras not bras but like i normally do wear like sports bras to bed or like these these are super comfortable if i don't wear those i'm gonna wear these pajamas then i have this one with all little hearts all over it same exact thing as the red bringing both pairs just in case I have to stay longer than 24 hours. This is the top. So it's easy access for nurses to check me because it has the buttons down. So my going home outfit, I have an option. Like I have an idea of what I wanna wear. Going home because I really just wanna be comfortable and that's all I can say. Like I just wanna be comfortable. So for Christmas, I got this from Boohoo, it says, Mama, 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 I've worn this many times. All my stuff is so wrinkly. <laughs> Whatever. And then I have these leggings. I probably will go to Target though and get like sweatpants, but right now no sweatpants fit me, I feel like, <laughs> except for Sam's. So I'm bringing these just in case I forget or something. So that's my going home outfit. I still have to buy like that stuff at Target. <laughs> I really should probably do that soon, but it's going to be like all like the travel stuff. Next thing is baby necessities. So this basically has all of her stuff. I have this, this is kind of like, you can either do it as a swaddle or put this on her car seat um, when we leave so no one really sees her or um, it can also be used for nursing. However, I'm not nursing. So that's very nice and soft and it can be used as a blanket just in case she throws up on the other one she has. <laughs> Next thing I'm bringing is two burp cloths, just in case. Um, people really say they don't need these because they have them at the hospital. However, just in case, I like to be prepared. That's probably like the one extra thing that I probably don't need that I have. I'm bringing two pacifiers. Um, these are just like the cases for them. They're like in there. Bring two of those just in case like one falls on the floor or something. Then I'm bringing um, Hello World and on the back side it says I'm here and then it, you put her name, the date, her height, and her weight on this kind of as like the announcement photo that like that she's here. So yeah, this is going to be in the announcement photo. Then for her photo, her outfit, I got her, I think the brand is Kane and Lane or something. I don't really remember, but this is basically what she's going to wear. Um, it's super soft and I wanted to get her rainbow because like that's basically like her whole room and kind of the theme and it's the gown so it'll be easy to change her then it came with the hat i don't really know if i'm going to use the hat i have a bow instead this is the bow it looks like this i don't know i don't know which one i'm going to do yet <laughs> then i have her swaddle that came with it as well that's kind of like her announcement photo outfit then for her pajamas i have just this like little tiny onesie not onesie but this is this is like the top rainbow themed little bottoms with her like little feet covered i think they're so cute like i can't even picture her being this small you know i should probably bring one more just in case she's not this small and she's like chummy <laughs> then we have mitts and socks 
just in case. Then for her going home outfit, we have this, the dress. I've posted this dress on um, Instagram before. I got it at H&M. Me and Sam like both agreed that this was going to be her going home outfit. I did not want anything like too fancy or like obviously not pajamas either. I mean, I know a lot of people do pajamas, but let's dress up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Like I just want her to like look so cute going home. And then this is the bow. I'm really, really into bows by the way. So this is the bow. Hopefully it fits her. Her, like little head so yeah like I said I'm not going to bring any of my postpartum stuff um, I, I did however get the freedom mom like um, box the postpartum box that comes with everything like the pads the diapers the bottle that I just showed you guys um, witch hazel I think and something else I think like freezer pack that's gonna stay here along with my other stuff like diapers and stuff um i'm also not going to bring her any wipes or any diapers because i know the hospital has those already and my bag is completely full sam said he has his diaper bag pack basically i don't really know what he has in there basically what i told him to bring was pajamas an outfit and snacks and like phone chargers and stuff so yeah he's i don't even know what he has <laughs> i just told him to bring stuff but yeah th that was basically it i am a first time mom so if you guys think i definitely need to bring something else let me know in the comments down below i am so open for suggestions comments anything really <laughs> just to help me um, be more prepared. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm so excited for you guys to meet her so soon. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!